Claude just dropped their MCP for N8N and it's genuinely blowing my mind. This thing lets you build entire AI agents and N8N workflows from scratch using nothing more than a single prompt. No more manually wiring nodes together for hours. Just tell Claude exactly what you want and it builds it. In this video, I'm walking you through exactly how it works, how to set it up step-by-step -step inside Claude and in N8N and how you can start making AI agents like this in seconds. Let's get into it. So first, let's talk about what an MCP actually is. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. And if I had to explain that to a five-year-old, here's how I'd break it down. So you got Claude right over here. That is your assistant, essentially the person that you're talking to. Claude is connected to this thing called an MCP, which is basically a hub that links Claude to all of your tools. In this case, we can look right here, Gmail or Google Drive, AWS for storage, and in our case for today, N8N. So when you tell Claude, hey, can you send an email for me? Or can you create an N8N workflow? Claude essentially sends a request to the MCP hub. The MCP then talks directly to the app, like Gmail or N8N, and takes action. It sends the emails, builds the workflows, all without you lifting a finger. And that's essentially the power of MCP. It turns Claude into a command center for your entire workflow, which can be so beneficial and can help you save so much time by being able to do everything in one place. So here's the Notion doc that I created and we're going to use to follow the entire process step-by-step -step to connect Claude to N8N's MCP. If you want this document so you could follow step-by-step -step, along with some other resources, click the first link below. So click this link right here and it'll take you to the Claude website. Download the desktop app for your Mac and Windows, then install it. Once it's installed, open it up, sign in with your account, make sure you use the same account as your web version if you already have one, and you're good to go. Super simple, takes like two minutes. Next up, you need Node.js. So this is what allows MCP to actually run locally on your machine. So click this link to go to the Node.js website, download the installer for your system, which in my case, it's Mac. I would click on Mac OS installer, download that package. You're gonna get the package in your downloads. My downloads I have in my dock to make it faster and easier for me. You're gonna wanna click on that, go through the entire process of downloading and installing the entire thing. It's literally just clicking continue a few times and letting it install. If you already have Node.js installed, you can completely skip this step. But if you're doing this for the very first time, do not skip it. You need this for everything else to work. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Head over to N8N's MCP GitHub page, which is on the Notion doc right over here. Click on this link. When you scroll down, you'll see a few setup options. Option one is the NPX, which is the fastest with no installation. This is the one that we're gonna run. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna copy this right over here and then go into your server terminal. For me, I use my terminal on my Mac and what you're gonna wanna do is just paste this in directly. If it's the first time you're running this exact command, you'll get a prompt asking you to confirm. Just type Y and press enter. And I'll show you how to do that here. So I'm gonna go into my terminal. I don't know if you can see that right here, but I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna click enter. And essentially the entire thing's gonna run. Once it runs, you'll see a message saying N8N documentation MCP server is running. That means you're good. Don't close the terminal yet. We're not done. All right, now we need to connect Claude to the MCP server. So we're gonna to wanna to go and open up Claude on our desktop. Click on this little sidebar. Click on your name on the bottom left corner, tap on settings, go to developer, and we're going to edit config. This is the text file it's going to show. It's going to be called Claude Desktop Config. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this up with whatever application that you use. For me, I used cursor. So opened it up in cursor. From here, you're going to want to paste this in. I have this in the Notion doc, and I'll show you exactly where it is. What I did over here was I censored my N8N API URL and API key. This is very important. You do not want to give these to anybody. So let's go back over here. And right over here, this is where you're going to add to the Claude file, right over here where it says N8N API URL, and then it has this domain URL. What you're going to want to do is, and I'll show you where, copy this, and you're going to want to paste it into your doc. And then your API key, you're going to want to do the same thing right over here. You're going to want to copy your API key from N8N and actually paste it right into here. And I'll show you exactly where to find those right now. So go ahead and sign into N8N. What you're going to want to have to do is come into this bottom left corner, click on settings. Once you click on settings, you're going to want to click on N8N API. From here, this is the API code that I used. You create a new API key. Label the API key, whatever you want. I just named mine Claude. And what you wanna do is you wanna leave the expiration at 30 days. You almost never wanna put it at no expiration because the API key is important and you do not want anybody getting a hold of your API key. So once you click on save, it's gonna give you that code. What you're gonna wanna do is go back into whatever you're, whatever you're using, in my case, cursor, and then paste it right next to where it says N8N API key. 
And as for the URL goes, I go to my N8N portal dashboard and I click on overview. When you click on overview, right behind home and workflow, you wanna paste in this link right over here. And I did cover that for myself as well. You really shouldn't be showing anybody your URLs or API keys. Make sure when you're done pasting your API URL and your API key, you click command S to save it. And then you can quit out of it. Once you quit out of it, you see your cloud screen. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to quit your cloud screen and then reopen it. So let's reopen Claude again. Once Claude reopens, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on here where it says search and tools, scroll down and you will see N8N MCP as well as context seven and N8N workflows doc. The context seven and the N8N workflows doc, we added to the end of the code that we pasted into the Claude doc to have the N8N MCP run way more efficiently. So make sure these three are enabled. And when you click on here, you can see everything that this N8N MCP is capable of. And once you enable all the tools, that's it. Claude is now connected to N8N. If you're on a paid Claude plan, I'd highly recommend setting up a project. This makes everything cleaner and way easier to manage over time. So if I go to projects, I already have one called N8N MCP. And what I did here was I created a set of instructions for the N8N MCP project to use to create workflows more efficiently for me. And I'll show you exactly where you can get these instructions. If you go to the N8N MCP GitHub, look at Claude project setup. If you copy this right over here, go back into your Claude project and just paste it right here. They already did most of the hard work for you. So paste it right into here and then click save. All right, so now for the fun part, I'm going to give Claude a full prompt to create a receptionist for a barbershop. I already created the prompt right over here. It is in the Notion doc. All I have to do is click copy and paste it right into Claude. Make sure you're using Claude Sonnet 4.5 because that's their newest and most high efficiency model. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click enter and we're going to wait for Claude to build our workflow for us. We're going to click always allow. All right. Now that I clicked enter, I'm just going to sit here and let Claude do its magic. All right. And if you look here, what Claude is essentially doing is it's mapping out the nodes. It's writing the code and it's setting up the structure. All right. So if you look over here, it just finished. What it created for us was a recommended workflow architecture. So it gave us a template that we're going to look at right over here. We're going to make sure everything's okay. But, but again, for today, we're just testing it out. So anything that it makes for us is great. It gives us ideas for additional features we can implement. The reminder system, the error handling and the workflow benefits. And you see the ID that it just created. It created the name Barbershop AI voice assistant on WhatsApp and a direct link to the workflow. So we're just going to click on this, click open link. Boom. It created the entire thing for us, including the AI agent. So let's look right here. Look right here. A WhatsApp trigger checks messages and AI agents right here. Okay. Let me be honest with you. This isn't magic and it is not going to replace your need to actually understand N8N, but you still need to know how to troubleshoot, connect credentials and invalidate workflows that actually work. But what this does give you is a massive head start. It gets you 30 to 40% of the way there instantly. The rest is on you to finish. And that's the power of it. If you're someone that's been putting off building automations because it feels too technical, this is definitely your way in and the best way to do it. This is a way you can move 10 times faster. All right, so if you want the full Notion guide with every step on exactly how to install this MCP server on your computer, how to add the Claude file that you need, as well as this prompt for this AI voice agent for a barbershop that I created, check the first link in the description. It'll take you to my community where you can find everything that you need. If you're serious about building AI automations, applying what you just learned and turning them into real business results, make sure you're following me on here, Instagram, and on LinkedIn, where I drop insights on AI growth and automations every single day. Now go set this up, build something, and let me know what you create. I'll see you in the next one.